Good day, viewers. Welcome back to uh, the last lesson in our modular arithmetic, which is the division of modular arithmetic. How do we undergo the operation of this? Now let's move on. Example one. Where possible, find the values of the following in mode four. The first one. We have what we are going to say here is let's two divided by three equals to an unknown letter. Let's say it's x. So two divided by three can be written as two divided by three equals to x. Since this one has a denominator, let's say over one. Let us cross multiply. So three multiplied by x, we have three x is equals to two multiplied by one, we have two. Definitely, this three, three cannot go in two without no remainder. If that is the case, what we are going to do is we now add our mode to this right hand side. And we are working in mode four plus four. So we have three s is equals to six. You can see that three can go in six. Then three goes in three, three goes in six. Three here, one, three here, one. So s equals to three goes in six, we have what? Two. So, which means the value of x here is 2. That is in mode 4. The second one, we have let 2 divided by 2. Let's equal to an unknown letter, let's say y. That is 2 divided by 2 equals to y over 1. Cross multiply. 2 times y, we have 2y equals to 2 times 1, we have 2. For me, 2 can go in 2. So we can have divided by 2, divided by 2. So y equals to 2 goes in 2, we have 1. So y equals to 1 in mode 4. Likewise, we can also get other answer for this. The, the way we added our modulo here, we can also do the same thing here. From this fact, 2 times y, 2y equals to 2 times 1. 2. How do you modulo 4? So 2y equals to 2 plus 4, we have 6. So 2 goes here, 2 goes here. So y equals to 2 goes in 6, we have 3. So which means the values of y are 1 and 3. That's it. That, that are the values of y. Now, c. 3, let's 3 divided by 2 equals to x. So we have 3 divided by 2 equals to x over 1. Cross multiply. 2 times x. 2x two equals to 3 times 1. 3. 2 cannot go in 3 without no remainder. Let's add our modulo. Plus 4. 2x equals to 3 plus 4. 2x is equals to 7. 2 cannot go in 7 without no remainder. We had our 4 as well. 2x is equals to 11. 2 cannot go in 11 without no remainder. We had our 4. So 2x is equals to 11 plus 4. We have 15. When you look at it, if you continue to add your 4, you will not, 2 will not be able to go in that. Definitely, we see 3 divided by 2 as no values. So, it has no values. Example two, find the solutions or truth sets of the following equations. The first one, we have three x is equal to five in mode four. So we want to find the value of this x. Three cannot go in five without no remainder. We are going to have your modulo. Three x is equal to five plus 4, 3x is equal to 9. So 3 can go in 9. So 3 goes in 3, 3 goes in 9. So s equals to 3. So our s equals to 3 in mode 4. Second equation, we have 8x is equal to 10 in mode 3. From here, something can go in this 8 and this 10. So 2 can go in 8, we have 4x. 2 goes in 10, we have 5. Now 4 cannot go in 5. 
add your 3. So we have 4x is equal to 5 plus 3, we have 8. Now, 4 can go in 8. So x equals to 4 goes in 8, we have 2. Okay? This is one of our answer. x equals to 2 in mode 3. Likewise, from here, 8x is equals to 10. What if I had 3? Directly like that. We are going to have 8x is equals to 13. 8 cannot go in 13, fine. Let me add another 3. 8x is equals to 16. So 8 can go in 16. How many times? So x equals to 2. You can see that we have the same values here. Definitely the value of x equals to 2 in mode 3. 8 plus y is equals to 4 in mode 9. So the first thing is to collect like 10. Take this is to the other side. y will equal to 4. When this positive is crossing, changes to minus 8. So y equals to 4 minus 8, we have minus 4. We know from the rule of modular arithmetic, our answer must not be negative. We are going to add our modulo plus 9. So y equals to minus 4 plus 9, we have 5. So 5 is not up to the modulo. So our y equals to 5 in mode 9. Now question D, 5x plus 2 equals to 3, as we did here. You collect like 10, 5x is equal to 3. When this one is crossing, so minus 2. 5x is equal to 3 minus 2, we have 1. 5 cannot go in 1. We have our modulo 11. So 5x is equal to 1 plus 11, we have what? 12. 5 cannot go in 12 without no remainder. And our 11, 5x is equal to 12 plus 11, we have 23. 5 cannot go into 23 without no remainder. Add 11. We have 5x is equals to 23 plus 11. We have 34. Likewise, 5 cannot go into 34. Add your 11. So 5x is equals to 45. Now 5 can go in 45. So 5 goes here, 5 goes here. So x equals to 5 goes in 45. We have 9. 9 is not to our modulo. So our s equals to 9 in mode. 11. So that is our final answer. So this is all about modular arithmetic. With this class, with these classes, you should be able to solve any question on modular arithmetic. So kindly subscribe if you are a new member of this channel and click the notification bell for my subsequent classes. Thank you.